Hey. Hi. So, can I ask you a question? What? Alright, so this big forehead person right here. This Stop is, it. This is right going to be my vegan buddy. Okay, so <coughs> I found out. So last time I went vegan, I went by myself. And it was not the easiest thing to do. So, this time... I have a partner, vegan buddy partner. So, um, it's better if you grab a partner if you, cause you know motivation. You no, know, therefore, if you like, yo, I'm gonna go eat like a cheeseburger or someone. Like, if she wants a cheeseburger, I'ma just like slap her and be like, nah, you can't have no, a cheeseburger. No, you can't be like that. But I but, love burgers. Sorry. That's okay, cause you can like veggie burgers. Okay, they're really good. Black bean burgers are amazing. So, um. So, we came to an agreement that we'll cut out one thing at a time. So, for now, I said, like, the roaches and whatnot of meats. So, ham, uh, oh, pork, pork, shellfish, lobster, and crab. Um, definitely, the shrimp count as shellfish? I think so. Okay, shrimp, that's a bottom feeder. You really don't want to be... That's like eating a roach. You feel me? Um, you want to know what else? You look at your, diet, your dietary laws. You can use the Quran, you can use the Torah, or the Bible, either or. You can go that way. Um, that's, be the, that's what I did last time, so I first started cutting out pork. Um, so... So what we came up with is like every time we cut out a meat or animal product, we'll replace it with like a new fruit or new vegetable. So like what we got, I got some papaya at the crib, but I ain't never had papaya a day in my life. I'm gonna cut it up, I'm gonna try it out. So we on the way to Kroger, but it's like snowing outside. So you know, in North Carolina, if you, well, well I'm from. We don't drive in the snow. She's from, <laughs> she from, she from the mountains. So that's that's where they, that's that's their territory. But, um, so I'm in here, I'm going to try to teach y'all the difference between conventionally grown, organic, and non-GMO, because there is a difference in everything that's organic and healthy, and everything that's non-GMO isn't healthy at all, um, isn't healthy either. So, yeah. I'm going to make some guacamole today as well. Yay. Yeah, guacamole. Got to, um, are we making potatoes too? Whatever you want to make tonight, that is um, perfectly fine. I'm just hungry. Okay, cool. Definitely going to be making um, guacamole. So, um, also, I'm going to show you guys, like, quick, you know, snacks and meals. Um, and I'm also going to give everybody prices with that as well. Pilates. No. All right. <laughs> Canola oil. No, no. Stay away from this. This is this is actually Monsanto. Um, no corn oil. Um, vinegar is actually really acidic. Um, grapeseed oil is really good for you. Um, I know uh, sesame. Uh, nah, uh, coconut oil is of course is really good for you as well. And olive oil is really good. So try to get your, uh, like I said, grape seed, sesame. Like, this is really good. So, for example, like, non-GMO right here. Like, you'll see, like, non-GMO. So basically it means that um, the seed or whatever wasn't genetically altered. Um, it does not mean that these were not created with... Um, well, uh, we're not harvested with pesticides. If it's not harvested with pesticides, you'll see something that says um, organic. So if it says organic, then it does not have any pesticides in it. Um, for an example, this one right here. This does not contain pesticides, but it does not mean that it is not genetically modified. So, oh, oh look at this. So try to get something with non-GMO verified and USDA organic. But also be careful because things like Naked, it says non-GMO, but it has a bunch of pesticides. It even contains formaldehyde in it as well. See, so this right here, this is pretty straight, pretty good. Um, pay attention to footnotes as well. 
Look, this little one right here on the uh, non-GMO sticker. That's a footnote. Try to look for it. He even tells you what it, what it means. So, yeah, something like that. So another thing to be aware of is when it says uh, things like you know 100% juice or whatever. Also, read where it says from concentrate. I'm trying to get you with that. So it say 100% juice, but you don't read right here where it says from concentrate. So concentrate is basically how you get your sodas and whatnot. If you ever worked in a fast food restaurant or anything like that, and you see where you hook the little, it's a like a box and it has syrup. That syrup is a concentrate. So you basically would have to mix it with water, and that's how they get this 100% juice. See, 100% juice. Woo, amazing concentrate with added ingredients so it's one thing you really have to be careful about things like that um there's a brand that is not from concentrate so yeah be really careful about when you do things like that so yeah so see 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 this is how they get you that yeah, from concentrate or not this is how they get you know what concentrate is you know what that you worked at McDonald's and you don't know what concentrate is. Stop it. I look at... Okay, anyways. So, see? This is how they get you. It looks good. And it's like, oh my God, it's this. It's organic. You know what? And, it, and, it's, and it's not GMO verified or whatnot. But then, see? Look. All from concentrate. You mean to tell me you couldn't crack up on the fruit and drain the juice out naturally? See? That from concentrate, that'll get you. Like the lab, bro. Milks. You got soy you milk. Fart? No. Did you? No. You got it probably your upper lip. You got uh -oh. soy milk. <laughs> you got soy milk. <laughs> you got almond milk. Um so in a lot of grocery stores that are not health food stores, they'll give you the only options will be almond milk, soy milk, and coconut milk. But I don't see the coconut. I said about uh, when the, you cut out a meat or animal product by a mystery fruit you never had before. Seen this for the very first time, never had it. Got one over in the basket. So let me talk to you about bananas. So bananas, the bananas that we normally, oh, here's also about, oh, you scared me, but you scared me, bruh. You scared me. Okay, so anyways, come here, let me teach you something. So when you see barcodes like this that start with a nine, they are actually organic. Whereas if you see barcodes that start with a four, that means they are conventionally grown. Did you know that? Well, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Yeah, anyways, so, so actually real bananas actually have seeds, which is why they're fruit. Closest thing to a real banana are the small bananas. All right, so back what I was saying about the milks. So normally, grocery stores like Kroger, Food Lion, Buy Loves or whatever that are, oh, you know what, Harris Teeth is good for it too, um, that are not health food stores, they only sell like three different kinds of plant-based milks, which is normally soy milk, coconut milk, and almond milk, um, me personally, I think the best out of those are probably going to be, um, <laughs> almond milk now but the healthiest option is definitely coconut milk um that's the healthiest option but i personally i i don't like coconut like i don't like coconut anything coconut water i don't like mm, i i do need it incorporated into my mm, 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 like more into my diet but ew, I, don't, I don't like coconut um soy milk is a no-no actually i used to be stubborn with the soy milk or whatnot Matter of fact, it's, it's as much as you can because a lot. So one thing I want to say is vegan is not synonymous with healthy, because a lot of vegan foods are not healthy, if, if you catch my drift. But um, try to stay away from it. so as much as you can. Um, like I remember last time I had soy milk, I was on campus because that's the only plant-based milk that they provide. And I almost boo booed on myself, like truth be told. Like so <laughs> that's not <laughs> that's not funny, okay? I made it, I made it, but like soy milk will really mess up your stomach. Well it messed up my stomach and 
please stay away. <laughs> Take my advice. Stay away from soy milk. Um, actually, my, I do like, ooh, <laughs> I do like, um, I, my, my favorite uh, plant-based milk is hemp milk. Rice milk is really good. I like rice milk. You ever have rice milk? Even though she's from the mountains, but I gotta pump gas. But anyways, I'm gonna pump this gas. Just got in the crib. Just got in the crib. Um, While well, she's putting up groceries, where my little yellow fruit at? She gonna put up groceries, and I'm gonna try this yellow fruit. I wanna know what it tastes like. And I'm hungry, so yeah, there's that. Then. I feel like this is enough. I shouldn't have got this one. I shouldn't have got what? I shouldn't have got this one. Let me get cheekbone. Oh. See, I'm doing it. It's supposed to be in there. What is this, bro? I don't even know how to. What is that type of pear? It's bad, whatever it is. It's bad. It looks bad. Yeah. That inside. Oh, Oh, did you Google? Did you Google what it was? No, but I like a pear. I don't like pears. It is a pear. Let me see. I don't like pears. Pears nasty. This is a pear. Yeah, that have pears and milk, bro. It is. When you used to go to after school, they used to feed you pears and, it's and milk. It's like half bad. I'm really, I'm really. Boy, it looked like half bad. I don't know how I'm supposed to look on the What's inside. What's the name of this? I've never seen it. I don't know, but you know what I was really thinking about? And I'm so bad because we just got groceries. I was just busy here getting my pizza. And no, it. this is an apple and it's bad. Taste it. It's an apple? It's an apple pear. Yeah. It smells just like an apple. Mm. It smells just like an apple. It was really powdery. Yeah, I'm, I'm... That's why I said it looked bad. It's a neat, but I don't know how to eat it, though. I'm not a pear person. I mean, you eat it like an apple. Oh. Uh, mm. I'm going to need you to clean this up. So, okay. So, why'd you want to go vegan? Um, because I feel like it would help me lose weight. <laughs> Just to be told. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel like it, it would be a better, a just, I don't know, just a better, better way of life. So I can live longer. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, before you you do something, you should always figure out why you want to do it. Um, like my reasons <gasps> is different from hers. Oh, jeez, God, it's cold as a mother. God dang. Okay, anyways, I stayed in North Carolina, so I didn't have to deal with the cold. Came up here to Durham, <sighs> and it's snowing with ice on the ground. I'm not a happy camper. But anyways, God dang, I actually became vegan. said to myself, I said, well, look, self, I felt like, you know, it's so many books and whatnot on how you should live and what you should do right now, so I said, you know, I think the best bet for me to find out is I want to find out on my own and what my own truth is, so I said, hmm, let's, why not try to get back as, to as much as the original being as, you know, possible. And for me and my path, I figured out that that was the best option. Now, I'm not saying that my option is the best option because, you know, people are different. People have different backgrounds. People come from different places. Um, people's ancestors come from different places. So, yeah, that's my reason. My mouth hurts. Yeah.